Hello everyone, Luis here. Today I'm going to talk about a very interesting upgrade that I found for the Nova 3D printers. In my case, I have the Benefor Mono, and if you are an owner of one of those printers, you know already that this is one of the best printers that we have uh, on the market today in terms of features and build construction. It's a very good machine, be it the the Benefor Mono or the uh, Elfin uh, 2 versions okay, of this printer. But they have a very bad downside, which is you need to use the, the proprietary fab, right? Which is this uh, plastic frame here. Uh, they send one extra with the printer already, but uh, it's a good thing, as I said on my review, it's a good thing because it's easy for you to change the, the fab, but on the other hand, it leaves you with no alternative. You need to buy the specific frame. It, this is really something that I think keep a lot of people to buy the printers, okay? But fear not. <laughs> My friend Xenia created the, these metal frames for the uh, Nova 3D printers, and it's very well made. It's it's something that I'm I'm looking for for a long time since I've I bought this printer, and I, I wanted to install any fab, for example, and I had no alternative using this. So this thing here makes our lives very much easier uh, in terms of have this printer. So I will show today how to change the the fab using this frame. I tested already, it works, it's a very, very well done job. It works perfectly, it fits perfectly, so I will show how to, to change the fab and also I'll leave contacts of Xenia for you guys to uh, talk with him, he's a super friendly guy and you can get yours with him, okay? So stick with me and before we get started, please consider to subscribe, it's free and if you really like the video, please leave your Thumbs up. Okay, thank you and let's get started. Okay, this is the metal frame. As you can see, these are two frames put together and screwed together to keep the fab in place. It's the same concept that any cubic and Telegoo uses on their frames for their vets. So it's a, it's a known concept. Uh, in the 3D print market, okay? Here I'm going to remove all the screws, so just remove everything. I will speed up things and show you the next step, okay? In this step, you are going to remove the old frame, the plastic frame from the vet, removing all the screws to release the frame from the vet, okay? Get a paper towel and clean the vet from any old resin residue that you have there. So just clean, leave everything clean for the installation of the vet, okay? Now you get your new vet and here you are going to need a special technique, let's say, which is you are going to need a bottle cap. People normally use um, Gatorade bottle cap or Coca-Cola or something like that. It not seems to be super big or it, it cannot be also very thin. 
okay it needs to have more or less the height of a, a bottle cap and then you are going to put in the, in the middle and you are going to position your tap over this bottle cap and the idea here is to have some room for the tap to stretch later if you do not do that it will be too tight and you can have problems to print later because you cannot have a fat too tight or a too loose uh, fat and this technique uh, helps a lot in tuning this uh, fat position on between these two metal frames okay so follow that steps and, and you'll be really really fine i like to use a point sharp tool to create holes on the places where the screws will be tightened to the, to the fab that helps to do that and you need to keep the frames really really tight and try to not move them as much as you can while you are tightening the screws and here is another important tip when you are tightening the screws you need to tighten in one screw then you need to tighten the next one is the opposite of that last screw that you tighten it okay follow always that pattern screw one and then the opposite one and for each of the screws that you're going to screw okay if you do that you define that create evenness when you are tightening the fab and we will have a better tuned fab on your back okay As you can see here, there are some room for this fab to stretch when we install it on the vat and we tighten the screws to the vat, okay? You need to have more or less this uh, room when you finish it to screws the two metal frames, okay? And the next step is basically you are going to install the frame on the vat and here you are going to follow the same rule for the tighten to tighten the screws okay you are going to tighten one and the next one is the opposite to the one that you tightened before follow the same thing that you done on the two metal frames okay And the last and final step is you are going to get a hobby scooter and you are going to cut the excess of fab 
on your bed. Coat everything. Do not leave any excess behind that can interfere on the installation of the vet on the printer, okay? I'm leaving on the comment section here of this video the contacts for you to talk with Xenia and buy this metal frame from him, okay? Yeah, just contact him using any of those contacts. The guy is super friendly. He will help you to find the best way to send you this metal frame, okay? So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.